Hi, this is Sergio with GJD3D. And in this video, I'm going to be displaying our half and half definition uh, to make rain shanks. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I have already a, a stone and a head uh, already set to go. I have a profile here, which is the overall shape of the shank. And I have another profile that is half of that shank. You know, because this is going to be a split shank up on the top. So let's uh, let's get started. So let's call up uh, Grasshopper, which I already have it here, and uh, open my document. And I'm going to go to where I have my uh, definitions over here, and I'm going to look for my definition, which is called uh, ring half and half. And here we go. And uh, let me make sure everything is all set. As you can see. Uh, I already have a uh, sizes over here being displayed. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and work on the on the finger size over here. So let me move this a little bit back here. Maybe make this a little wider so we can read it. There we go. There we go. So I'm gonna go over here maybe until I get uh, maybe a size six ring. There we go. Size six. And there. Uh, Let's go a little bit bigger. Let's go with six and a half. There we go. We're still under our diamond. Uh, we're ready to uh, get started here. Now, the first uh, profile, and notice that I can use five different pro profiles uh, to make this ring. But in this uh, this sample here, I'm just going to use three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and select them now. I'm going to select the first one, profile one, set curve, and I'll use my full shape. Then I'm going to go to the very last one, which will be on the other side. Set the curve. Pick the same one. And then I can go over here and go to the center one, the middle one. And for that one, I'm going to go ahead and pick the smaller. Or in this case, uh, it could be the same one. There we go. Let's pick the same full one. Because so I'm going to do the bottom of the shank first to get that out of the way. And uh, then we'll move on. So let me go back uh, up here now. Now that we have profile one ready to go. Basically what I want now is I want to give it the width and thickness over here that I want. So probably on my X, I may want this to be 1.5. There, it got a little bit wider there. And on the y-axis, let's make that 2.5. There. And there's my, my width here. And I'm going to do the same over there. Notice that here I have mirror XZ top, or do not mirror, or mirror XY. And this is the one we're going to be looking for because we want to mirror the bottom and create it to make the bottom of the shank. And this is kind of why this is called like the half and half because we're working on the top. We can get the bottom or only the top or only the bottom. You know, we can pick which half of the ring we want to work on. Right now, I'm kind of defining the bottom. So let me go to the very last profile and do the same measurements that I did on the other one. So 1.5. And we'll go over here with a 2.5. And there, 2.5, 2.5. And maybe the one in the middle, which is this guy over here, we'll make that one also 1.5 here. But here we'll make this one like, uh, instead of 2.5, we can probably go to 1.75. And that makes the bottom of my shank. And I want to go ahead and make that already so that I can continue configuring the rest of the ring. So I'll go up here and I got two options, bake the half of the ring, which will be the yellow part, or bake the mirror half ring, the mirror bottom. And in this case, that's what I want to bake. So I'll right click, bake, and I'll pick shank from my layers, click OK. And I now have the bottom of the shank all done. Now my next step is I need to create, maybe thin this out a little bit on the top to make the top portion and also thin it over here on the on the bottom. All right, so 
let me go work on that. So back to the first profile. Over here where we have 2.5, probably want to bring that down. Notice that it's getting skinnier over here. Maybe to like 1.5, right there. We'll do the same thing on the bottom one, which is at 2.5. Point five there. Now the one in the center, you can probably bring that down. I'm gonna go ahead and put one millimeter there. Got a little bit thinner there. And uh, I'm also gonna maybe shrink it a little bit. Maybe to one millimeter also, very thin up there, just going under the, you know, because that's just to preserve the finger size in there. And now that I have that one, I'll go ahead and bake the half ring. And at this point, I can take the mirror off. We're not mirroring anything now. I'm going to go ahead and bake the back to shank. Now we have those two parts. Now that I'm working on that centerpiece, now I need the, the arm that are going to extend up and go up to the top of the prong. So with this same measurements that I already have set up over here, I'm going to go ahead and go to that center profile and move it normal. And it's going to begin to go up there. Something like so. A little bit more. There we go. Something like that and a little bit thinner maybe nope this is okay maybe over here 0.75 there and once again we're going to go ahead and bake onto the shank there now we're going to bring now we got to do the two arms that open up over to this to this area here to the bottom of this ring over here so let's bring back down that uh, the normal and we are going to move over here Maybe bring it back down. And there we're going to get close and see what's going on. We need to go down a little bit more. We need to bring it out. Right around there. And I'm also, now let me, let me go back down here. And I'm going to now this bottom piece over here, I'm going to take it back to its full uh, to its full size. I need to go to the first one. Leave it at 1.5, and over here, take it to 2.5, which was our original full extension. There, and do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and do the 2.5 right here. Now that I have that part, I can go ahead and go ahead and bake. Or if I want, I can also go ahead and click on the mirror here. Another second time. There we go. Now we got the mirror on both sides there. And now we can bake the half ring. And bake the mirror. And as you can see, now we can close our definition. We're done. And there we have a very nice supporting shank uh, setup for this, uh, for this large diamond.